talk about a couple tips on removing and installing oil filters. And why this came about is we're getting ready to work on this Harley here and we could see that we have a Fram oil filter. And so I told the guys to go to the cabinet and grab the Harley tool. So you can see here we have this cartridge style filter and it has a cutout here to make clearance for the crank position sensor. And you can see the little cardboard we got in here. One of the students brought this up, a good tip to uh, keep the oil from running off everything. I'm gonna pull this out of the way for right now, but when you go to do this, this is a good idea to try and get it to drain in your can. So good tip there. So normally what we do here is we'd say, we'd take and put this on, we'd match up the flats here. So I've got a flat here and a flat here, and this just is not fitting. I'd end up having to beat that on there. It'd be a pain to get back off, and it just isn't working very well because we'd also have to, uh, the idea on this Harley one is that we'd put it like this, and then we would loosen the filter to the point where it was getting close to that sensor. We'd have to take the wrench back off, and we'd have to re keep repositioning ourselves. Well, that's not gonna work very well in here, so we have super pain in the butt. So let's look at a few different options that we have. Uh, if you guys have seen these, they're more I think of it more of an automotive cartridge filter that's going to slip around. I was kind of surprised this even fit here. So in this case, it's going to allow me to tighten, and I would flip it this way, and this slips back behind here, and I would want to loosen it. But look what happens here. I'm going to hit the fender. So that doesn't seem, you don't want to scratch your bike, do you? No. No, so let's not do that. Okay, but these are pretty handy. If you are doing this, especially in some automotive filters, this hinged one is super sweet. You can really get into some cool tight uh, areas on that. So maybe they make this one in a smaller one that would work for this. Possible, huh? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right, let's see what else is available. I wanna talk about the, the filters with these flats. They come in all different sizes. So with these guys now, they've got it with the R on there where it has a, a bolt with a 17 millimeter head on there that you can even safety wire and keep it in place. Love these. All right, I'm gonna set that off to the side right now. Let's go look at a cutaway filter. Here's the big tip that I wanna make on this is that this is just a paper filter in here. We've got our relief spring and we just have this casing on here. So you'd count your flats, count the flats and you'd figure out what wrench you need to go ahead and take that off. If you got a really stuck oil filter, if I'm putting this wrench all the way out here, and this is a small filter, isn't it? Yeah. If I'm putting this wrench all the way out here, what am I gonna do to this, this housing? Crush it. I'm gonna crush it, right? You say, well, I don't care about crushing, I'm taking it off, but it's to the point where if I put enough pressure on here, I could break the seal from the threads and now I've got a hot mess. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So no matter what, when you go to these filters, what people are not doing is going all the way down to the base and that's what's gonna allow you to get a really good bite on it. You're not grabbing onto the, the threaded part, you're literally trying to get this housing, you know, to where it doesn't have much room to bend. Let me paint in a picture uh, with that ruler. When you think about something, now this is exaggerated, right? But that oil filter casing, we'll, we'll consider this is where it's mounted to the engine. The further out I go, this bends really easy, doesn't it? Okay. Mm -hmm. But if I go right here, does that bend very easy? So don't you think that if I grab onto that oil filter right there, that it's going to grab the nut with it and it's just going to probably wheel it off pretty easy? When you do it out here, what starts to happen too is this is the nut and it doesn't want to move. So this is what happens. You start to get this twist because it's thin metal. Look at it, right? It's going to break on you and it's going to be a hot mess. How many people have seen these uh, pl uh, oil filter pliers? Yep. God, these are handy at times. In this case, it won't work because our engine's too close, okay? Uh, another one that does not work in this case, this happens to be a blue point one. And so when I tighten or loosen this up, it just grab onto this. But you know how it's going way at the top here? Once again, I said that that's probably not my ideal. I used this for a long time in my career, and then I got introduced to my favorite. Here is my favorite. We all have the one we like. I love this guy. Multiple vendors are selling this through uh, Parts Unlimited and, and Tucker Rocky. There's different, you know, uh, suppliers or whatnot. But this oil filter strap wrench is only like eight bucks. And this thing, look how big it goes. Mm -hmm. It'll do a ton of sizes. So what you do with this is you slip it around here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sneak this around and I've got my seam that's giving me grief now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and move it to a new spot. 
Okay, and then I want to go as far in as I possibly can. Okay, so the amount of room that I have is about in the middle of the filter. And then what you do is you take, and I want to remove this, so I want to go this way. And I take and I just wind this up. Okay, then what I do is I just set this more towards the top right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and just use a long extension. I want to try and grab as much real estate as I can. Okay, so watch here. I'm intentionally pushing this back here. And now what's going to happen is it's going to crush that filter over. Is that taking that off pretty nice? Mm -hmm. here's, the, here's the thing you gotta remember. I don't want to smack anything else. So you'll notice here, I go ahead and I start moving, okay? And then I just reset. See that? Mm -hmm. That thing will grab on to a super stuck oil filter and get that baby off there. Now you could use this installing and because now that we have a drive, oil filters have a torque spec. And anytime I say this, people are like, oh God, nobody's torquing an oil filter. You just put the thing on and you, you turn it a half turn. Where the heck is that coming from? We're putting a nut on a bolt, if you think about it, right? Isn't that what we're doing? Out of the engine is a, a bolt and we're putting a nut on it. Mm -hmm. So anytime you put fasteners, there's that torque spec. Well, high flow even gives the torque spec in the directions in a little piece of paper in the box. You might have to look for it, okay? But people say, well, what if I just do a Harley says? How about I go right out of the manual? So anybody that says that, putting the filter on till it kisses and then I go like a half turn, they're not making it up. Here it is right in the manual. Harley on this one, lubricate gasket with clean engine oil, install new oil filter on the mount, and then hand tighten a half to three quarter of a turn after the gasket first makes contact. That's, that's literally right out of the direction. So if you got somebody that's saying that that's the way they do it, man, that's a po total possible way to do it. And I think it's pretty legit. I can't think of an oil filter I've ever had leak or fall off or, or anything. But we got two options. We could torque it when we have a torque spec. And the reason that that is so handy now that they put that nut on there is it just makes it really easy. Are you going to have a torque wrench out? Yes. You got a drain bolt. So there's probably a really good chance that you're already going to have a torque wrench out or whatnot, so it's easy enough if you decide to do that. There is a couple of quick tips of how to go ahead and get these off, especially when they're really stuck with that strap wrench and my favorite ways of doing it with uh, this guy. There you go. Tip of the day.